his four years of filmmaking, Jay and Timaru has focused on telling stories Ugandans can identify with. The Root was his first production. It is a purely Ugandan story addressing the plight of human trafficking. Such stories, Giant believes, fresh in the screen in the eyes of movie enthusiasts. We have our different niche audience and market. Eventually, yes, when the budgets increase, when the expertise increase, we will get to that stage of production. But we should also appreciate our stories and tell our own stories. Because we are not going to wait for an outsider to come and be like, hey, oh, I like this Ugandan story, why don't I make a film about it? And then they go and sell it out. You know, what does Uganda gain out of it? And that has been the trend for all movies that have given Uganda a place on the international platform. Half or three quarters of the product is filmed in Uganda. Then it is edited, mastered and premiered in Hollywood and eventually brought back to Ugandans. Powerful stories about Uganda have been portrayed by foreign actors and yet some of them may not be very conversant with the Ugandan story as it is known. Films produced locally, right from inception to screening at the box office, could probably attract a larger audience that identifies with stories they understand better. You are almost employing more than 500 people if you go to see on a project and this is a project that runs for almost you know two to three months down the line so it is an income grosser. Giant is currently studying how his latest production Kent and Kate is performing at the box office identifying areas to benchmark for future prospects. This is an adventure film about Kent an eight-year-old student with a condition called dyslexia. Kent struggles at school. He finds it difficult to read and interpret well like other students. Later, his best friend Kate and his math teacher help him through his recovery process. For the first time, a purely Ugandan production was premiered here and started showing in Ugandan theatre as opposed to being shown on television and sold on DVD. It's no longer just about the passion that I need to create. Now people are actually motivated. Now even the business minds are coming into the industry and they're seeing the financial aspect and they're like, this can work. So for a Ugandan film to actually be at box office with these other Hollywood films and what, it is something huge. Growing local film production will not only benefit directors and producers who currently operate on limited budgets, but actors as well, as it opens them up to opportunities to feature in as many productions. The cast of Kent and Kate is already engaged in other upcoming projects including Giant CP, a film that will feature Uganda's Olympic champion Stephen Kiprotich.